Making your way in Brosser today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your classes sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You want to be where you can see troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name. This is week one MVT, and I'm here with Mr. Darby, digital media teacher. Hello, hey, Mr. Darby. Hi. Um, why do you think we chose you for MVT this week? Well, I don't think you had a choice. I think I uh, demanded that I would be the last one to be uh, featured. So, so I said, so. you know, this is my uh, class. I have to be on this uh, special. Uh, so I think that's why Rightfully you so. uh, chose me. So for sure, um, definitely. Can you explain the Shakespearean insults for us? I just saw that on the poster over there. Thought that was interesting. Yeah, so uh, that is a, a poster I got a while ago, and it sort of uh, lists all of the all of the uh, Shakespearean uh, insults from uh, the plays that he has. So, uh, for instance, there's one that says uh, "bunched back uh, toad" as an uh, insult, which I kind of like uh, that one. Uh, uh, back toad. A uh, whole lot. Yeah, but you know, so he, he was just a very uh, artful in the way that he expressed his uh, slander. That makes sense. I suppose. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you want every student to walk out of your class at the end of the day knowing or learning? Sure. I think in an ideal uh, world, I would hope to instill a love of uh, language uh, in my students. So, and uh, hopefully a love of uh, books, uh, oh, literature, so um, because it's very uh, important, I think, to uh, continue to uh, read throughout your uh, lifetime, not just in school. Uh, so like if you don't uh, recreationally uh, read, and by that I mean if you don't read for uh, fun, then I kind of feel like you're uh, missing out on a lot of the joy of, of uh, life, you know? I understand um, that. So. Yeah. I'm gonna ask uh, you a question, oh. perhaps maybe. Oh, and what? Right. I'm the interviewer. Yes. Well, okay. right. But uh, the right. question that I would like uh, answered is: What have you learned in speaking to all of uh, the teachers here at uh, Brossard through these uh, MVT specials? What have you learned? Maybe not just about the teachers, but about what draws them um, into their uh, profession, why they do what they do, all that stuff. Okay. It's a hard one. I know. It's a hard one. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned that like every teacher always, they want the same thing out of every student. They want a relationship with God. They want uh, to instill the safety and make sure that their students are learning in a proper learning environment. They want what's best for the students and truly, instead of just like, kind of like passing their students like they would at other schools that I've been to. This school, they actually put you, uh, Put you up to task and make you learn. All right, excellent. So, uh, if you had to pick a favorite for any digital media or Mustang media video, which would it be? I think that's a really hard one. I think that would be like asking me to choose my uh, favorite child uh, if I did have any children. But I would Old say media. I would say that the favorite episode was probably last year when we did the Darby uh, bunch, which was like. The Brady Bunch oh. uh, introduction, but it was the Darby Bunch that, introduction. That uh, and then also last year, a few of the specials that I enjoyed were the uh, Snackies with uh, Jackie, even though it sort of uh, pushed the boundaries of uh, programming a little bit. I thought it was, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was a crowd uh, pleaser. So, okay. yeah. Interruption. What would you name your kid if you had one? Uh, so this is a good question. Uh, we have thought about this. We think maybe if, if it's a boy, it's Harvey, although uh, the bad uh, part about that would be he would be named Harvey uh, Darby. So, <laughs> Harvey Darby. Uh, so that's probably not going to happen. 
Uh, Whatever happened to Jared? But we've also thought about, well, I have just thought about uh, gerund, which is of course a uh, verb that acts like a noun. Um, so, but that's only in uh, jest. I don't think we'd ever really name a child uh, gerund. So, who knows? But who knows? Who knows? Maybe. Yet to come. <laughs> Maybe. So. I'm here with my day one derby. This is week one MBT. You're not doing this. <laughs> Let's talk about how fun that was. All right, hello ladies and gentlemen. Today here we got some alumni from Brossard. Uh, first off, we got Joe Holtz, AKA the Amish man. Howdy. So uh, Joe, how's college going for you after your first year? Oh, that's great, man. I just love it. And uh, you go to uh, NKU, right? Yeah, yeah. North Sub. Um, so what are you gonna be majoring in? Mechanical Manufacturing Engineering Technology. Wow, words, lots of words. Uh, so I can see in the background you brought some of your buddies here with you. Did you like? Did you live on campus or off campus? I lived on campus with one of them. And which one was that? Andrew Beazel. Another character. All right. Yeah. So is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Any wise words to the Brasser community? College is great. Right. Uh, yeah, college is awesome. 
right. you can grow out facial hair and stuff, so it's pretty dope. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah. Next here we got Nick Rust, also uh, graduated last year. Nick, how you doing? Doing good. How are you, Sam? I'm doing well. So, where do you go to college? NKU. All right. What are you majoring in? Electronic media and broadcasting. Another of lots of words there. Wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, are you living on campus or off campus? Off campus. Off campus. So, you're living with your parents still? Yep. Very nice. All right. So, uh, do you have any wise words for the Brosser community? Um, just study hard and seniors enjoy your last days because you will miss it. Um, Hey, college is great. It's really fun. You'll learn a lot. All right. That's all. Hi, everybody. I love you. All right. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm here today with a current Bishop Brosser student, Sam Fleissner. Sam, how's high school going for you? It's going great. Thanks, Andrew. You're welcome. Got any wise words? Um, study hard. And uh, college is great, you know. College is going to be great for us. And seniors, enjoy your last days. Um, and hello. Thanks for the advice, Sam. I'll leave. All right. Eat. Should we just follow each other? Hello, everybody. I'm here with our former Bishop of Brosser president, Kevin Neltner. So, Kevin, where do you uh, go to college right now? I go to Northern Kentucky University or other what known as NKU. <laughs> what are you studying at NKU? Uh, same as you, actually, Nick. Uh, EMB, electronic media and broadcast. Cool. Very enjoyable. Nice. So did you live on campus or off campus? I commuted and it was a pain. So, but on campus costs a lot of money. So it's a lose-lose. Cool. Okay. Do you have any final words for the students of Brosser? College is what you make it. So make it great.